Oh boy, do I love me some data marts. I love the ability to load and manage my data. Outside of that like enterprise space, I like to be able to bring it in, land it. For some, I can bring in all sorts of things from maybe upstream or downstream or wherever I got it. I want to put it into one place that me and my team members can use. It's fantastic, right? Well, Microsoft Power BI came out with Power BI Data Mart several years ago, and it was bee's knees. But we've run into some challenges there. And we've got this great thing called Microsoft Fabric, or where, where, did, where do these fit? What should we be doing with these things? Well, in today's video, we're going to dive deep into Power BI Data Marts and data warehouses and, and how should you work with these. All right. Don't forget the whole like, subscribe, leave a comment down below type of thing. Uh, helps really feed the logarithm, helps feed my channel. Okay, so Power BI Data Marts versus Data Warehouse. Why are we talking about Data Marts? Well, number one, allows you to manage your data all out into the cloud, right? So you can have that one source where all of your data is being managed versus like all these different SharePoint lists and all this other hoo-ha, right? You just got it all in one place, you're good to go, right? Um, now, uh, it allows you to actually run T-SQL queries you, and you, you know you can even create views against your, your, your data mart. Uh, and then best thing ever, this really allows you to reduce the loads of your processes, right? So instead of having to load out a table into many different Power BI reports, you load it and manage it a singular time and you're up and running and good to go. Flow of information is pretty simple. Data flows bring data into data marts. Data marts are then surfaced up inside of semantic models. And then you show that information inside of reports, right? Easy peasy. It's a great way for you to manage your data sets in one place. So if you are applying business logic with your data flows, you have to do it many different times. It's it's it, it works out quite nicely. Well, what's what's the real challenge here? Well, there's a whole bunch of problems with data marts, right? Like we don't have any uh, database modeling language items that we can do. Uh, we're missing DDLs. Uh, we can't do any of that. Uh, <clears throat> um, there's no automatic semantic model generated, so we can't just build something off of that. We have to do take another step. Uh, we're missing sort procedures. And, and honestly, if you head over to the ideas site, there's a whole long list of things that we need to get uh, Power BI data marts working. And that kind of leads us into like, which one should we be really doing? I mean, Data Marts is out there, but Data Warehouse has got all like, is 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 a, is a big contender, right? Maybe we should be looking at it. I mean, why Data Warehouse? Well, it allows you to do all the things that the Data Mart allows you to do. You can manage your data, run queries, create views, reduce your loads. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, that 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 fits and is is just fine. I mean, the flow of information is the same, right? You, data flow, data warehouse, semantic model reports, same thing, right? I mean, if you look at these things right next to each other, it's the same solution. Just one of these solutions though is working really well and the other one isn't. Like if I line them up next to each other, DML objects work in warehouse, don't work in data marts. Uh, DDLs, yep, got it in warehouse. Don't got it in data marts. Semantic model, sort procs, on and on it goes. All of that stuff is available right now, right today, in data data warehouses and not inside of data marts. Well, okay, so what's preventing people from moving over? Like maybe it's cost, right? Well, straight up, if you're on a P1 or an F64 or higher, like you could totally switch, right? Just whatever you have in a data mart moving on over to data warehouse and you're you're good to go challenge comes below that if you've got an if you can get an f2 or an f32 something like that you can spin up a warehouse and you are ready to rock right that is that's perfectly fine you can't you create data marts uh at those lower SKU levels right they just don't allow it it's a data warehouse challenge comes with our ppu uh, people who have PPUs and they haven't yet ventured into Fabric, okay, you're, you're, you could create a data mart with, with PPU, but you can't do that in Fabric. So you, you've got kind of a challenge here, right? How do we manage this? Well, it's not. I'm not going to say it's a challenge. This is your opportunity, okay? Especially if you have less than you know 10 gig models that you're managing out in there, 
this is an excellent opportunity for you to you know switch your users from ppu over to pro uh like you can have an f2 up and the roi starts off easily at 20 users you might even be able to get it as low as two right so tons of stuff there if you have a larger model like okay it, let's say you're running you know a 50 gig model and you're doing that with premium user you could still save a ton of processing in time with with the capacity as little as an f2 and then you get not only do you get data warehouses but you get data activator uh you get data factory you get one like you get all your data science and all your data engineering workloads as well it's really just an absolute no-brainer for you to update and upskill your organization with these capabilities right the like the pros are just way too strong and that's why we say the fabric data warehouse is clearly the winner over data marts while i love me some data marts it is time to retire that stuff uh yeah i i, I hate to say that you know but i i hope i hope you guys understand why i'm oh, why I'm, I'm saying that Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you found this useful. If you're ready to make that jump, leave a comment down below. If you're if you're still up in the air, let me know what questions you got. Why would you want to switch? How could this could happen? Um, happy to keep the conversation alive in the comments. Uh, as always, you have the best day ever. Peace. Bakertilly oh, Digital combines gosh. strategic industry insight in and credit advanced Can you technical expertise <laughs> to uncover and solve your digital transformation Yeah, you, and if you if need help, head over to Bakertilly. Check out our website you know, at Click on di Bakertilly digital. digital, say you need some help. Happy to come over and help you out as well, too. All right. So, you're seeing the right operation here.